Ferrari, Maserati, and Lamborghini. These are just a few of the rare Italian-designed automobiles in Bellissima, the Italian automotive renaissance 1945 to 75. Join me as we learn more about Frist Center's newest exhibit on this week's Arts Break. I think it's important that people see that art isn't simply traditional paintings and sculpture, but that art in our lives and in this, this and the last century extends into a large number of things. When the war ended, Italy, of course, had picked the wrong side, and the country was really in ruins. One of the writers I researched for this, a man named Filippino Sapo, said, in Italy, creativity was like a giant coiled spring as soon as the war was over ready to explode with creativity, and that's what they did. After the war, that was a time of very, very intense modernization. The industrial designs were coming on, and we finally could work with higher speeds. So the higher the speed car, the more need for that fluid streamlined body and for structural sort of stability. Well, the GTO would have to be my favorite car in the exhibition. Uh, it was, out of the box, a wildly successful racing car. It was unique, and uh, they only built 39 of them. You had to be somebody as a racer before Ferrari would sell you uh, a GTO. The overall shape was really done by the artisans at Scaglietti's. Scaglietti didn't work with sketches. They had a sense in their mind of what it should be, and, and their craftsmen would literally build like a metal cage. And, and when they thought the shape was absolutely right with all the little tubes tied together, then they took the sheet aluminum and began to mold it, hammer it, form it, and, and build the, uh, the car that you see. They're not absolutely machine perfect. You look at the rivets, you look at the panels, sometimes they're a little different. All of these are cues that they were hand-built, uh, sort of pieces of art. Beautifully crafted, timeless, elegant, expressive. That's what these cars are. Bellissima is on display through October 9th at Frist Center for the Visual Arts. For more information, visit us online at wnpt.org slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund.